What is up, my faithful techie followers? So guys, today, I recently did a video. Um, I'll pop it up up here, but it was VLC Media Player versus Pot Player. Um, very good uh, media player, so check that out. Should be popping up about now. If not, it's down in the description below. But today, I'm going to be doing VLC versus SM Player, which I believe is Smart Media Player. Um, we'll check that later, but... So as a lot of you are aware, and a lot of what you guys use VLC for, if you go to media and open network stream, and you paste a YouTube link in there and hit play, you are met with this shenaniganery. Your input can't be opened. VLC is unable to open the MRL. Um, so it is not streaming YouTube videos. So I showed you how to do that over in Pot Player. So I'm going to show you SM Player and give you a little bit of instruction on SM Player and how it works. To download it, you just go over to this website here. Link is down in the description below. Um, and so once you get that downloaded, let's get started. So I've already got mine installed and running here. I've went ahead and opened it up. I'm gonna show you some of the key features here. It's actually a very simple player. It's, it's actually really cool. Um, you guys see I have some sample music and video folders over here that I just put together. But let's go through some of the basics here. Starting down below, you have your typical play, stop, um, and then 10 seconds uh, back, and then you have your 10 seconds forward. Um, you do this if you wanna maximize, and this will do your mute which I am going to, once I put files in here, I'm going to mute because the music I have is actual music and I don't want a copyright strike. Uh, but if we look up top, some of these here kind of coincide with what we're going to see up in here. So you can do open. Um, you can open a single file. You can do your recent files. Um, you can mark some favorites in here. You can open an entire directory, which is what I will do with like the this music folder over here. You can create a playlist. It will handle DVDs or CDs if anybody still does that. So you can actually play a Blu-ray or a DVD from here as well. Now this is the URL where you go in and pop in a YouTube link. Now let me show you something different here, what's gonna happen when you do this. Let's say you go ahead and want uh, your URL. I've already got mine in there because I was messing with it. Um, now first time after you install this, you hit okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to get this error and it's basically just going to tell you that you have to install another little application for it to stream videos. I have not done that yet um, because I wanted to show this to you guys. So um, at this point, and I would like one of my viewers to do this and just kind of let me know how it goes because I'm not going to do it just yet. Um, so if you proceed and hit yes, it'll basically download it and install it at this location. So root drive uh, C your username, SM player, and then just this little executable here. So it'll take care of that if you hit yes. I'm Like I said, I'm not gonna do that just yet because I wanna get through this video. Um, so anyway, that's how you do that. Now, let me stop you right there and say something. I am simply showing you how to stream a YouTube video to SM player. I cannot show you or tell you how to download a YouTube video. That is against YouTube's policies. In fact, I had an actual video called how to download YouTube videos. I had that video removed by YouTube because it violates policies. At the time, I did not know that. They took my video down and it was doing really well and I lost all those views. So I cannot instruct you on how to download YouTube videos. I know a lot of you probably came here to find that out. I can't give you that information, and I'm sorry. So be nice to me in the comments, please. I, it's not my rule, you know, and I don't want to have another video taken down. So if one of my viewers figures that out, you know, so be it. But I cannot give you those instructions. And in all honesty, using SM Player, I don't know how to do that. I haven't messed with it enough. But that is how you stream a YouTube video is through the URL. That being said, let's continue. So under URL, you can do TV stuff. I haven't messed with that. 
Uh, looks like you can stream radio. Got your close and quit, of course. Um, you know, and then everything you had down below, you have here play. You can actually speed it up or slow it down. Cast it to another device. Like if you have a smart TV, you could cast it to that. Or a Chromecast, something like that. Different video options here. Audio options. Kind of what everything you're used to seeing, like in VLC or even Pot Player. Not a lot has changed. So uh, one thing that I thought was cool, once you're listening to a bit of music or a video, you can click on this right here for information and properties, and it will actually give you information and properties on the actual media that you're playing. So I thought that was kind of great. Uh, different preferences here that you can set up. And it's very similar looking to uh, VLC or really any other media player that you get into. Uh, there's just different things that you can set up and different settings that you can tweak. So um, let's go ahead and look at some playing some music and video. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to open a directory, go to my desktop. And let's just choose the music directory. Okay, good. I've got it muted. So once you're playing music, it will actually, you know, just start playing the music. You can skip it ahead, go backwards, stuff like that. Uh, then if you want to do this drop down, you can actually uh, go up and down different times. So that's kind of cool. If you want to skip to the next, this is this one. Or if you want to skip previous. And this one, where did that one go that I was going to show you? I don't see it now. Uh, but you can skip to the next track and so on and so forth. Now, if I want to open another directory and just go for video, we can do that. And as you see, it plays the video. This is just stock video that I found on a website. And so it does a very good job of that. So anyway, guys, that is about it. I just kind of wanted to show you this SM player and kind of give you some comparison between the others and let you know that it can stream a YouTube video. But anyway, guys, if this was helpful to you, let me know down in the comments. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to keep coming back, go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thanks, guys.